Hey guys, so today I wanted to film a little vlog, or vlog, <laughs> vlog, hello. I'm going to dye my blonde extensions, I'm going to actually ombre them, so they're blonde, I'm going to have them be this black color, I got Flipferia, multifaceted shimmering color, uh, number 20 natural, and it's this like black, I'm sorry the lighting in here kind of stinks, but um, yeah, so maybe I can open this window. I don't know. It's just getting really dark and nasty outside. Okay, I open a window so maybe that light will help or a shade. So basically this is pretty easy. I got this conditioning um, gel or conditioning developer which is this right here. And what you do is you pour in this bottle of gel that comes with it. You just pour it right into that bottle and then you have a little shimmering, like a little tube. It's called of uh, what is it called? Uh, shimmering serum that you pour in there. And then you just put the top on and you shake it up. So it's a really easy one, two, three step. Um, I didn't film that because it's just really easy. At first it was like a really banana color and I'm like, mm, what did I do wrong? Well, as it's sat, it's getting to be this um, darker color. Gives you gloves. It doesn't give you a little spatula or anything, which kind of disappointed me. Um, Okay guys, so I'm sorry about the lighting. It is nighttime and basically the light just left me. Uh, the person I had that was supposed to film me left. Um, so I'm just working with what I got here. Um, so basically what I did is I mixed the Feria, which I showed you guys the, the mixing hair bottle a little while ago. And I basically just put the gloves on and went to town. And I just kind of ombre them. This is my first time doing it. I'm not sure how they're going to turn out. I've never done it before. The lighting in here sucks so bad, but I could not find another light. I'm sorry. And I wanted to do it on, like, concrete, not on a carpet. Um, so I basically, I used this comb to try and spread it out and give that, like, flicked at the end um, appearance. And then these ones I tried to blonde ombre when I had my hair ombre, like, a long time ago. And long story short, it just didn't work out. Um, they didn't get as dark as I wanted them to. So um, they were a little lighter there uh, than my other extensions so I just wanted to darken them up back to their normal color again as you can see I have dye all over my hands and yes I wore gloves and like when I opened the bottle it like squirted out at me and I was wearing like a white sweatshirt I know I'm an idiot so I just went to wash that but yeah so basically I'm gonna um, wash them it says to let them sit for about 25 minutes and let them process I didn't put them in tin foil or anything like that because I really like worked on saturating them a lot uh, I wanted to make sure that they were as covered as much as possible with the black dye. I'm going to wash them, dry them and all that, and then I'm going to I save some hair dye just to see if they are if they still need more, then of course I will um, do it again, but I really want to make sure like the edges and stuff were as dark as they possibly could be. Lengthwise, uh, I'm just guessing. Um, in regards to like if they're ombre far enough, um, I think they are. I mean, we don't have to be too dramatic about it here, but um, anyway, I'm going to show you the finished product. I'm going to show you how I wash them, um, and it's the same way I wash all my other extensions, and then I will um, show you guys what they look like put in. Hopefully, I didn't ruin them too much. And I'm thinking, worse comes to worse, if they turn out awful, I'm just going to buy more hair dye, and I'm going to just color um color them all black okay guys so to wash my extensions usually what i do is i use um any kind of shampoo i like to use a sulfate free because that helps keep um the color and this is just my blue argan oil um shampoo and it's sulfate free paraben free all that good stuff and i'm just saturating them completely in the shampoo and then I'm going to fill up the sink with warm water and I'm going to put a couple of drops of shampoo in there and just let the extension soak um, so that all the product will come off and um, the dye and everything else on the extensions and they can just soak in like a little um, sink area for uh, usually about, I don't know, 20 or so minutes.
Next, I am rinsing them out with um, warm water. And just, you're going to get all the dye out. It's going to take a little bit of time. And the shampoo. The dye is going to run a little bit, but it shouldn't stick too much to the blonde part. Um, but it is going to make them probably a little darker. And I usually take like two or three at a time and really rinse them under the water. I'm then taking the conditioner that um, the came with the hair dye, it's the Feria Deep Conditioner, and I'm going to put that all over the extensions from top to bottom, not just on the ends this time, um, because mainly we colored the top part of our extensions. Um, and I just want to um, really make sure that the extensions are conditioned since they're not attached to you know, your head, obviously, they do um, dry out faster. And this goes for when I'm just washing my extensions normally as well. Again, I usually separate them out, and I'll do three or four wefts at a time. And then I'll just let them sit on the sink for usually an hour or so. Just let that conditioner really soak in. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to rinse them all out really well. And again, for most of this I use lukewarm water. And I keep separating the wefts to make sure that I really rinse them and get all the shampoo and conditioner and excess dye out. This does take um, quite some time, especially when the hair is um, long. And I would say the more grams, the more work it is. It's like washing your makeup brushes. The least thing you want to do. At the very end, um, I make sure to take all the hair extensions after squeezing them out, and I just run, run them under like just freezing cold water. That helps to seal in the moisture and the color and seal in the cuticle of the hair, help preventing split ends and things like that. Then I will take this Brusque Sensories Leave-In Conditioner. It's my favorite conditioner. You can find it at um, Marshall's usually. And I'm putting that just on the ends, and you just leave that in. Don't even rinse it out. And then I usually take a detangler, um, something because it'll be kind of hard to brush out. And I use the um, Soy Tri Wheat Healthy Sexy Hair I got from Marshalls. And I just spray that uh, all over the hair. And then I will also take a heat protectant like Tresemme, and I will spray that over the hair as well. Um, just so that sets in because you're usually using heat on your extensions, so you want to have them um, saturated in a heat protectant. And then I'll usually let them air dry. I never um, blow dry them. And I'll just set them aside. And then I'll, I'll also take like a, my favorite oil. That's the Biofusion grapeseed oil. And I'll just put it a little bit on the ends. Um, so it is a lot of product. But again, the hair is not attached to anything. So it's 
dead and dry and if you're washing them you really want to make sure to keep that moisture in. Uh, it doesn't hold the product like your normal hair would. That would be a lot to put in someone's natural hair. And then what I do is I usually put them on a towel or a flat surface or I don't know, I used folders in this case and a wide tooth comb um, from Office Max. Just combed them all out and kind of stacked them on top of each other. Uh, cause I, I just didn't want to get dye in any of my towels. And here's the finished product. I took a couple of shots of the hair. I like it. It's totally different than what I'm used to. Um, I don't know. It's very interesting. And I'm going to show you a clip with them curled. Um, check out my latest videos. I am wearing them and um, so I kind of talk a little bit about them so you can see them up close and personal. Anyway guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the bottom bar for all my information. Love you all. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye guys.